Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is create a folder on Windows. I know that's just right click, um, new folder. So I'm sure it's similar to Mac. But you're going to want to call this folder whatever you want, just like the title of the theme as it would show up in Winterboard. Now, inside this, I'll refer to just inside that folder, one click, that'll be the root of the theme. For other parts of the theme, um, you will have to add new folders. But for now, th I'm just going to refer to this part as the root of the theme. Um, the things that go in the root are your wallpaper, your lock screen, and uh, your status bar. Okay, once you've picked out um, the name of your theme, you're going to want to go to your image editor, whatever that is. And if you go, you go to File, New, and the dimensions for this, which is going to be the wallpaper, is the width is 320, the height is 480. That's the size of the iPod touch screen. And just hit OK. And for this, I'm just creating really quick um, pictures. You can get any photo off the internet. You can draw whatever you want. You can basically make it however you want as long as it stays in the dimensions of 320 by 480. So um, here is my awesome background. Now you're going to want to go to File, Save As, once you've finished making your wallpaper. Um, go to your theme and in the root of the theme is where you're going to put this. Make sure it's a .png file and save it as wallpaper, um, capital W, A-L-L-P-A-P-E-R. Okay, next we're gonna make um, your lock screen background image. Um, that's the exact same dimensions, 320 by 480. And um, this can be whatever you want. Again, any picture you find on the internet, and anything you can draw, type, just as long as it stays in the dimensions of 320 by 480, it can be whatever you want. So there's my lock screen now. Um, again, file save as. Make sure it's a .png, and you're gonna save it as lock capital L O C K then capital B on background. So lock background capital L capital B. And it is also saved in the root of the theme. Okay now next we're gonna make the status bar. So again hit um <coughs> file new and the dimensions are the width is still 320 but um the height is only 20. And make sure this is all in pixels too not inches or centimeters. So um here again any image anything you can draw type anything like that as long as it stays in the dimensions of 320 by 20 it can be whatever you want. So then there's my status bar. And file, save, save as, and again, make sure it's a .png, and it's going to be called status bar on capital S on status and capital B on bar. Okay, that does it for all the images that are going to just be in the root of your theme. Now, for the document, I want to create a new folder called Bundles, and the B has to be capitalized on Bundles. And inside that, you're going to want to create another new folder called com.apple.springboard, all lowercase and no space um, in between spring and board. And inside here is where you're going to save your doc. Now um, go to your photo editor and it's going to be 320 on the width by around 90. Um, just a side note that the, the dimensions don't always have to be exact on some of the images. Um, the wallpaper and lock background do have to be 320 by 480, but on stuff like the status bar, um, it could be instead of 320 by 20, you can make it 320 by 25. Just 320 by 20 is um, the default status bar size. So again, this dot could be, um, instead of 90, it could be 80, or it could be 100, but that might start overlaying onto stuff. The default size is what I'm telling you here. Okay, um, again with the dock. It can be any color, text, image, anything you can find that fits in your dimensions that you have set. So, I mean, here's a quick dock. Everything I'm making is really quick. Now let's save as. Um, now navigate to that folder you created, to the com.apple.springboard. Again, it's a PNG, and save it as capital S, capital B, and capital D on dock, and then capital B and capital G. Folders look in all that stuff, and there's all sorts of stuff that you can say, that you can see, and, and it tells you the dimensions, and you can realize that, well, that changes that image, and so you can make your own themes and build them up like that. Now, I'm not trying to...
Next we are going to be creating slider images. So in your bundles folder, you're going to want to create a new one called com.apple.telephonyui and you'll see that display on the screen. Capital, uh, type it with the exact capitals as you will see. Okay, now the dimensions on this um, is generally 71 by 47. You can change that again, but this is just the default slider. Okay, so here again, I'm just going to make a real quick looking slider. It's not going to be anything good. Okay, so once you've um, created your slider, go to your file, save as and go to the folder you created, the telephone UI and here the name of the three sliders are bottom bar knob gray which is the slide to unlock, bottom bar knob red which is the um, slide to power off and bottom bar knob green which is the slide to answer so um, they're all the same dimensions and you can have the same one for both or create different ones okay so the last thing to make are the icons and in this in the root of your theme just make a new folder called icons with a capital I and this is where all your icon images will go. So now once you've done that open up your editor and uh, new and the dimensions generally are 60 by 60 that's just default. And here again in any picture, any drawing, anything you want to type you can go here. So for this I'm um, gonna go a little bit deeper than for my other things I've created. Okay, once you have your icon made, go to your save as and go to your icons folder and you're going to want to title it however the icon's name looks on your springboard. So for this icon I'm doing mail and um, on the springboard it's titled capital M then A-I-L. So that's what you save it as. So as I said, um, themes can change just about every image on your iPod touch and um, a way to know how to change more images is if you SSH something that you've downloaded, um, then you can look in their folders, look in all that stuff, and there's all sorts of stuff that you can say, that you can see, and, and it tells you the dimensions, and you can realize that, well, that changes that image, and so you can make your own themes and build them up like that. Now, I'm not trying to take any credit for this theme that I'm showing you right now, but I'm just saying that um, you can look in the folders and stuff and see what's in there, and if you recognize that image, then you can um, try to make your own off. Also, a really great website is modmyeye.com. Um, I recommend going here and creating an account. And here, there's a download tab. If you click on that um, and scroll down, there's all sorts of, you can download all sorts of pre-made stuff like sliders, um, wallpapers, all sorts of stuff that's already been pre-made that you can add to your theme. Okay, now open up um, your SSH and navigate to var slash stash slash themes. And here's where you'll drag um, your theme over to get it onto your iPod Touch. And if you don't know how to SSH, I have a video on that.